What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Hooligans. My apologies for being so late. I am later than I've ever been. I have a ton of personal stuff going on right now, like really bad personal stuff where somebody in my life is trying to hurt somebody I care about in my life, and I may have to talk to some police officers later, and that really sucks. On top of that, I was having a very difficult time finding things I could actually show you on YouTube because their community guidelines are so strict, I can't really show anything other than my large cat, Mr. Klaus Daniels. So, we're just going to run through this really quick. I do have to leave pretty much in 30 minutes or so. I'm going to hang out as long as I can. I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to be doing a watch party at 7 p.m. Eastern Time with so much to cover. It's probably going to be another one of those three-hour lives like we've been doing all week. YouTube's still banging me nice and hard. Another 50 people unsubscribed in the last 24 hours. I can't imagine I'm that terrible of a, a host here. The only thing I can really come up with is YouTube hates my guts. Anyways, let's go ahead and get her started. Give me a second here to make sure everybody is good to go and we'll get a video on the screen. What's up, Proud Ankle? What's up, Matthew? What's up, Damon Walker? What's up, Free Mind Art? What's up, Hev Heaven Mag? What's up, Saw Dog? What's up, Adrian? What's up, Sean T? What's up, Sarge Cookie? What's up, GQ? Oh, for you guys that are trying out the website, it's going to be a lot quicker today. I've made some changes and moved some things around, and now it's a little bit more snappier, a little bit more pleasant to be on. So make sure you guys go check out jeffmaclive.com over in the membership area. I put a video out. I also got links all over the place if you would like a free week to see what happens in the membership area over there. What's up, Big Chat? What's up, MT Coiner? What's up, Bombay Man? What's up, High Plains Drifter? What's up, Willy Jilly? Happy Freedom, you hooligans. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much, Proud Ankle, for continuing the membership program for 13 months. You're officially a hooligan. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, did you hear about Gage suing Kyle? Yes. I actually heard about it last week or the week before. I had mentioned it. Uh, but until something official starts, there isn't really much we can cover on it. I'm trying to think. I don't think we have a video that touches on it, but I keep seeing it on Twitter and stuff. I just want to hear him scream for a medic. Like, that's all I'm looking forward to. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're actually going to make it to a live hearing or anything like that. If I was the judge, I'd throw that out because all the evidence was shown during the last Kyle trial. So why even bring it to court? But who knows? Who knows? We'll see. A quest, you're just so bad. It's gotta be. It's gotta be what it is. I'm just pushing everybody out the door. Uh, 300, 300, wow, well, they're not hooligans if they left, right? 300 viewers have unsubscribed in the last two weeks. That's a, a new record. Anyways. What's up, Wake Up? What's up, Toy Mafia? What's up, Indigo? Appreciate you guys watching on Jeff Mac Live. The Jeff Mac Live YouTube channel. Let's see, that's going to get confusing because everything's called Jeff Mac Live now. What's up, Cornish? What's up, Two Ruby Shoes? What's up, everyone on Twitch? It looks like things are messed up over on Odyssey. That's expected. That's how my day's going. Holy moly, are they running three lives? What is going on in Odyssey? Well, I guess we're live, but they got the old title up. I don't know. Either way, we'll see. I got it planned. I'll work it out. What's up, everyone on Rumble? What's up, Joe? What's up, Pumpkin? Happy Freedom, you hooligans. Chick Knacks, watching on Rumble. If you have the browser, or if you use a browser, uh, Google Chrome, Safari, Mozilla Firefox, anything like that, and you go to Rumble, come to the live, 
you'll be able to see the live chat because right now you're in the comment section if you use the app I guess it's uh, either difficult to find the chat or you're not able to find the chat I think it depends on whether you have iPhone or not but if you just use a browser you'll be you'll be good to go having an issue getting to the live on the website what's up everyone on jeffmaclive.com all right so what we're going to be able to show today if i can find it we're going to be starting off with a video that is titled chicago's top cop resigns from police department it's a two minute video and then we have a video that is titled former skid row addict tells jesse new policy will result in more death it's talking about paying homeless people a thousand dollars a month uh, for whatever reasons I guess to enable them to continue to be homeless uh, then we have a video that is titled middle school student says teacher recorded him in the bathroom obviously that's not okay so that video is two and a half minutes long then we have a video that is titled Chicago police officer shot and killed on the southwest side that video is ten minutes long it's like back-to-back -back bad stuff happening in Chicago, but I mean, I guess if you live in Chicago, it's probably just another day. If we have enough time, and I don't know that we will, we're going to be covering an article that is titled, Speaker McCarthy Just Pulled a Huge Bait and Switch. Tucker Carlson uh, has to do with the uh, J6 footage being released to Tucker Carlson. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to cover that or not. Again, we're going to be doing a watch party at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I will have time to share all of this stuff with you guys. We have like 15 videos that are free speech only. Can't show it on YouTube. Just not able to. It was very difficult to find stuff for YouTube today. But we're going to go ahead and get it started. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to watch anything. So give me a second. Oh, and then YouTube wrote me an email to let me know I'm, I don't have an official artist account on YouTube anymore because I got a strike. So they took it away. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. They told me that this morning. No longer official. All right, hooligans, let's get her started. A shake up at the top the day after Lori Lightfoot loses the election, Chicago's police superintendent hands in his resignation. Uh, Matthew, yes, we will be covering the White House press briefing uh, on Rumble only. Can't show it on YouTube. Cop has resigned. Tia Ewing is in Studio 32 with details, Tia. Yeah, we've been hearing this for a while now. Sources tell me Brown prepared to step down weeks ago, and it was solidified last night with the runoff between Paul Vallis and Brandon Johnson for mayor. That's because both mayoral candidates made it very clear that if they secured the seat, police superintendent David Brown would be out. Brown was tapped as a finalist for the job out of three candidates and was hired by Mayor Lori Lightfoot on April 2nd of 2020. Brown will officially step down March 16th. The statement issued by the mayor, Lori Lightfoot says the superintendent set a record for getting illegal guns off of the streets for two consecutive years and led the charge on a double digit reduction in violent crime in 2022. She also credited him with adding 950 new officers last year and promoting more women than ever before in the history of the Chicago Police Department. Now, this statement from Lightfoot, it goes on to say, I personally want to thank him for his service.
service to our city. First Deputy Eric Carter will be appointed as interim superintendent until the new mayor is sworn into office. We ask the Community Commission for Public Safety and Accountability to immediately begin the search for a new superintendent so that the new mayor will be able to make a selection as soon as possible. Now, Brown did issue a statement of his own saying he's accepted a position as chief operating officer for Lon Carr Lyon Jenkins, a personal injury law firm with offices in Texas. That makes sense because he came here from Dallas, Texas, and that statement went on to say it was an honor and privilege to work with Chicago officers. Again, both Vallis and Johnson pledging during the debates and forums that they would hire a new head of CPD. Of course, this is a story that we will continue to follow right here on air and also on Fox32Chicago.com. Well, maybe his buddy Lightfoot got out, so he was like, I better go too. Hopefully they turn things around in Chicago. It could be a nice place if they would get all the corruption and criminals out of there. A little bit of accountability will go a long way if they'd actually do what they're supposed to do. So this next video is titled, Former Skid Row Addict Tells Jesse New Policy Will Result in More Death. This is a, a mildly humorous, it's not funny, but it is kind of funny video where they're enabling homeless people to pretty much be perpetually homeless uh, by giving them a free thousand dollars every month. All right, I'm gonna read through the chat really quick and then we're gonna get this started. Thank you so much, big fella, for gifting five memberships over on YouTube. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, big chap, I want to make more beats, but I was making beats on my MacBook that I had got from school back in 2013 or something like that. And if you know anything about Apple stuff, it doesn't live very long, and then it costs another $5,000 to get another laptop. The software I was using was Apple only. I don't have any more Apple devices. So since my laptop kicked the bucket, I don't have a way to make beats right now. Fruity Loops, which is, well, it's also known as FL Studio, is a producer, it's producer software to make beats and stuff, but it costs $500. And I don't have $500. I, I don't even have $50 at this point. But until I actually make some extra money, I won't be able to make any more beats. And as soon as I do make some extra money, I'm gonna be cranking out beats like crazy because I really miss making music. I've been making music my whole life since I was 12 years old and it really hurts me to not be able to make music right now. Why does everyone keep asking me if we're not on Rumble today? Rumble is, Rumble is live and well. Or it was, it says there's 48 people on there. There's people in the chat. I don't know why you guys can't find Rumble. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll post the link again. Either way. Heaven Mag Chat GPT will help you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, let's get her started. Jared Kickstein used to be homeless and suffered from addiction, and he joins us now. So, Jared, if, if when you were in the throes of addiction and on the on the street. If the government was giving you $1,000 a month, what would you do with money like that? Hey, Jesse, it's a pleasure to be back. Uh, when I was homeless, I was getting about $320 a month in general relief cash and $200 a month in food stamps. And uh, I immediately sold the food stamps for $100 cash. So that gives me $420 in cash. And I spent it on drugs within about two days. So the money was gone in about two days. And then you had less money because of the trade. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I rarely see when you can steal food and with no consequences, there's no point in using your food stamp card to buy food. You just sell it for drug money. What do you think about the intentions of these politicians when they just shower homeless people with money and actually don't fix the problem? Well, this is the thing. When you incentivize bad behavior, which they're doing, it's just going to create more bad behavior. And I'm an ex crackhead and I can figure that out. So I don't understand how they can't figure it out. Are they stupid or are they kind of malicious? Is this kind of like a controlled demolition? I I'm not sure, but it's gonna just result in more overdoses and dead bodies. Is that and, your... and honestly, oh, go ahead. No, you please continue. 
Well, th this money, it's like we give $1,000 a month to drug addicts. That money's just going to go to the cartel. It's like we're just printing money to send to the cartel at this point. Yeah, they're just laundering it through the homeless population. You said this yeah. could have been a controlled demolition with the destruction this free cash is resulting in. Do you think that actually might be the intention of some of these politicians? Well, it could be. I mean, because it, it, this will, re I believe this will result in more death. I mean, with $1,000, you can buy a lot of fentanyl. If That's a pretty nefarious uh, way to go about doing this, but... Uh, Technically, I guess it could work or they're just incredibly stupid and they don't know how to govern. I don't know which one it is. So they're evil or stupid. And that's just yeah. great that those are our leaders. <laughs> Isn't that, doesn't yeah, that just warm your heart? <laughs> well, it's crazy. Jared, I'm, I'm glad you, you shaped up. And uh, you're probably more articulate than any politician I've spoken to out there. Thank you so oh, thank much. Thank you so much, Jesse. For thank coming you. on. Uh, you really, you nailed it. We appreciate it. It always gets so cringy when they're trying to thank each other because of that weird delay that the news people always deal with or desire. I don't know. I can't imagine that it's not something they can't fix, but it's like a 15 second delay between one person speaking to the other. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Rumble. I don't know why you guys can't find Rumble and we're on Rumble. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I keep posting the links. It is what it is. We're running out of time. Can't sit here and mess with it. Let's see. What's up, True Crazy? Welcome to the live. You're my favorite bigot. Appreciate you being here. figure out who's actually here from today or from yesterday on odyssey i believe you guys are from today oh yeah there we go we got dates and stuff what is up you hooligans i don't know what's going on today's a shit show for real Anyways, this next video is titled Middle School Student Says Teacher Recorded Him in the Bathroom. This video is about two and a half minutes long. School is worse than it's ever been as far as I know. I don't know, some people say it went downhill when they took God out of school. I think everything went downhill when they stopped teaching gun safety at school. Either way. get it started. A local family is demanding action after a 12 year old claims a teacher recorded him using the bathroom at school and then showed the video to his classmates. He attends Renaissance Middle School in Fairburn. Fox News Deidre Dukes is live in South Fulton tonight. Deidre, you spoke to that child's grandmother about the disturbing allegations. Yeah, and the uh, child's great-grandmother says that she believes this teacher should be fired. She wants her to face criminal charges after she said she heard what her grandson said happened to him at school. Fulton County school officials confirmed they are investigating after a Renaissance Middle School student told family members a female teacher recorded him using the bathroom at school. He says, but I wanted to tell you what happened at school today. And I said, oh, okay. And when he started telling me, I said, wait a minute, what'd you say? The child told his great grandmother that the alleged incident happened inside a boys restroom at the school February 16th and that the educator showed the video to his classmates. He said she was videoing us on her phone. It was me and two other boys in there. They were washing their hands, and he said, I was urinating. He said, yeah, but she cast it on the, the screen board in the classroom. I said, well, who was in there? He said, the whole class. And, and she tur turned it on and let everybody see us in the bathroom, and I was peeing. Pickett immediately called Renaissance to report what happened. 
A school district spokesperson told Fox 5 once a report was made, Fulton County Schools took immediate action and the employee is currently on administrative leave pending an investigation. Pickett says the 12 year old's classmates have been bullying him since the incident. Weeks later, she says her grandson is upset and confused. He said, no, no, she can do that. I said, no, she, she can't do that. He said, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want her to film me peeing. And then when she put it on the board, he said, I was embarrassed. Uh, they, they, the kids was teasing and saying things. He said only one kid said, that's inappropriate. Ms. Pickett said that her grandson is just so upset by everything that happened, but he is still attending school. She says she hopes this matter is resolved quickly. That's the latest here in South Fulton. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. That is messed up. That is so messed up. They're lucky that, that kid's living with his grandma. Because if that was my kid, nah, I'd be going to jail probably. That teacher would be getting their head clubbed over the bathroom sink real quick. Prison rules. Bite the pillow. <laughs> nah, I don't believe in I don't believe in people hurting kids at all. Not at all. I think predators should be put down. I don't think they should serve jail time at all. They should get a thousand lashings. Just put them down. What do they call it? Death by a thousand cuts. That's what they need. Something bad. I don't know. Hurting kids is wrong no matter what. Schools are messed up. You got to pay attention to what's going on at school. Because they're, they're trying everything to hurt the kids at this point. They'd rather teach kids nonsense. I keep forgetting the YouTube's in the room. They'd rather teach kids nonsense than how to read how to do math, how to do taxes, what their rights are, how to be an entrepreneur and start their own business. No, no, no. Let's try and get you to wear a dress or something like that. It makes no sense. It's all part of the agenda. And it sucks because the way our country is set up, you may not have the option to homeschool your kid, which is the best option at this point, because you got to go to work. And you got to work all day so you can pay those taxes so they can just spend their spend our money on whatever they want to. Kids aren't getting it. Like, everybody's quality of life is really downhill right now. It's, it's messed up. I always want to reference what Canada has going on because in Canada they have daycare that's set up by the government. So you can take your kid to daycare like 24 hours a day. Whenever you work, you can just take your kid to daycare, which is convenient. But I don't think we need more government in our lives. So I don't usually talk about that stuff. But that is something that's available in Canada that's not available here. Livid Review, does our Odyssey membership sync with the website? No, it doesn't. Everything is um, isolated. But what did just start, which is kind of late if you have a membership through twitch or a membership a membership through youtube on the jeff mack channel it will reflect in discord now that just started two or three days ago so if you have a membership and you go into discord it should reflect it somehow that, that you are a member i haven't seen it yet because nobody hangs out in discord for some reason and i don't really know why but that's the only kind of carryover that I'm seeing. Otherwise, I don't have a way to carry everything over. And I can't, like, monitor everyone that, you know, has a membership on one platform and then give them access to another platform. And then they quit their membership and then I gotta go delete them off this. I can't do that. I have way too many, uh, whatever. I got too much going on. I'm not able to do that. But that's the deal. But I did make an ad for you on the website, Livid Review. So I got your got all your business stuff up you guys should get definitely go check out the shelf guy i will put the link in the chat help a hooligan with some hooligan love of course so uh, give me a second to do that but we're gonna move forward here we got like three more minutes and now i gotta wrap things up we don't even have time to cover this next video well 
Tis what tis, I'm going to post some links here in a second. We're going to do the spiel. We're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Again, we're going to have a watch party at 7 p.m. Eastern time with a ton of stuff to cover. It's, it's going to be a long live. We're going to say that. It's going to be a long, entertaining live. I don't know how long it's going to be on YouTube, but we will kick it off on all platforms. And then shortly after, we'll have to escort the YouTube platform out of the room so we can continue on with news coverage that we can't show on YouTube. Of course, we'll post links and everything, get everybody over to the free speech platform before we cut YouTube out of the equation. It's just because there are community guidelines. That's the only reason why. Otherwise, I would just show everything on all platforms. I still got the flyer. Yeah, there we go. The links that I just dropped for you guys will take you to the Shelf Guys website. He's an official hooligan. It's Livid Review. If you use the code hooligan, you'll get 10% off your order. Definitely go check it out. He does great work, and he would love to have some hooligan customers. So definitely go check that out. Like I said, I updated the website last night at like 3 o'clock in the morning. It should be a little bit more snappier now. Everything seems to be moving more fluent. Sometimes we still have that issue with the login loop. I'm trying to figure out what that is. I think it's the security for the website. I have a bunch of security on there. So people don't try and hack into the website. Uh, because it is a private area, which is why you have to have a, a paid membership in order to be on the social media side or to view the live streaming area. It's a secure place where there's no no one hovering over us. I own the database. There is uh, no one else there to monitor us, what we're doing, or anything like that. The only community guidelines is don't break the law. Don't put me in that position. It's definitely worth checking out. I will see about posting the links in the chat. I keep forgetting to do that, but there's links everywhere. Gilded, Discord, all the social media platforms. I did a huge post. I made a video about it yesterday. Find the link. You'll get a free week on jeffmaclive.com to see what all great things we provide over there. So definitely check that out. But here's the spiel deal. When you guys get a second, please go to jeffmaclive.com. You can find the link in the description. On the home page, all of my links are listed. You can find the link to join Gilded for free. Gilded is currently the best way to receive notifications for when and where we go live every time we go live. You'll also receive notifications if there's important updates or things I feel you should know. There's a news board on Gilded to keep you up to date with everything going on. And there's a ton of hooligans to hang out with all day, every day, to chat it up about pretty much whatever you like. So definitely join Gilded. Also on the Jeff Mac Live homepage, you can find links to the merch store if you'd like to grab some merch. We have shirts, hoodies, stickers, and coffee mugs. Everything is displayed in black and white or white and black. But if you find something you like, just click on that item to see all the colors that that item comes in. You can also find links to PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Stripe, Zelle, and Buy Me a Coffee if you would like to support what I do. There's also a link to the Amazon wish list if you would like to send me stuff. It's really easy to use, and anything you purchase directly from the wish list will be sent straight to me without having to send, in, uh, send emails or find information or anything like that. It's really simple. Also, my birthday is coming up. My birthday is in nine days. It is the official hooligan holiday. If you guys send me stuff, we will do an unboxing probably the last week of March. That way we'll have time for everything to get here. I don't want you guys to pay for extra shipping or anything like that. So we will be doing that. And then finally, on the Jeff Mac Live homepage, you can find links to join the membership programs. There is memberships for YouTube, Gilded, Discord, Odyssey, Rumble, and Twitch. So that's my spiel deal. Let's get ready for the Pledge of Allegiance, hooligans.
All right, running and racing today. I don't mean to rush through this, but just so much going on today behind the scenes. It really sucks. It really sucks. I wish it was good things, but it's really, it's really not. Anyways, please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, hooligans, that's that for now. I apologize that today kind of sucks. Like I said, we will be live again at 7 p.m. Eastern time for a watch party. It is going to be extensive. We do have a lot to cover. Uh, it was already going to be a lot, and then we didn't get to cover everything that... uh. I was expecting to so definitely be looking forward to that it'll give you plenty of time to go find those links to join the oh I think Snooks has got the links out there go check out the Jeff Mac live website it's the best way to support me it's the best way to speak your mind and be free there's no censorship over there I just don't want you guys to break the law because you're gonna put me in a weird position where I could be subpoenaed to forfeit my database and that's not fair to everyone so that's the only community guideline it is the best place on the internet you can promote your business you could be a customer for another hooligans business you could just post funny memes all day we have the ability to call each other voice chat video chat group chat post links share information have a good time and if there's enough people there we can even play hooligan bingo I set up our own bingo cards and everything I have all kinds of fun stuff for us to do but I need you hooligans to go over there and check it out and you can check it out for free. There's no obligation or anything like that after your free week is up. It's just up. It's expired. We're not going to charge your credit card or anything like that. I don't even think you have to put your credit card information in in order to get your free week. So definitely go check it out. It is absolutely worth it. And I'm not just saying that because it cost me $1,000 and 300 hours of my life. I'm saying it because I genuinely mean it. It is worth it. So definitely go check it out. Hopefully I will see you guys over there. 7 p.m. Eastern Time for the watch party. Let's see. Either way. Big shout out to everyone that made donations. Join the membership program or purchased any merch. I really appreciate all of you and I would not be able to do this without you. So thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll see you on the next live. Until then, stand tall, shine bright, and that's a wrap.
Yeah.